right. Here we are. And that's not a good find. Definitely not a good find. Hmm. So. Not like so. I've got trouble brewing here. There's a big end. You saw that play I put in there. That's not good. They're not too bad, but these two. That's not good. Not good at all. I'll turn it over that easy now because I've taken everything off. But I'm pretty sure that it's got all the way up and down. And that's not good. That one definitely has. My big fat hand in the way. Well, and the big ends are gone. That's a definite. And tomorrow night, because I've had enough now. Uh, we'll tear it down a bit more for the sludges that hold oh, over. That's great, isn't it? So, I'm glad I tore this down and didn't, didn't just put it in there. So, gold seal engines. Mm, they get wore out too. <laughs> I don't know what someone's done to this because it doesn't seem to be much wear on the balls. But someone, I think, has given this an almighty caning. They have really hammered this engine. The bloke I bought it off was going to put it in a racing car. But I think this engine's already been in one. <clears throat> and I bet you there's big ends are in an interesting state but we shall have a look tomorrow as long as I'm up to it because I can hardly bloody breathe these days being fat done out matters and that poop in there is not looking good oh, I'm trying to get my torch to do as it's told you can see that looks horrible that is not good. Oh, shite. I know this engine's been sitting around for a while. But that is ridiculous. These are parts that come off. They'll come off nice and clean and tidy. The wall pump looks a bit ancient, but it seems to be alright. I will replace that. And this what got me, because someone's greased this. Oops, you see that? Someone's greased it. Camshaft, that looks okay. Oop. That looks fine. Uh, it doesn't even look worn, that thing. And it looks, the lobes look a little bigger. I might be wrong, but the bearings are not good. There's a the timing chain. And cogs, and uh, they're worn to a point a little bit, but you can get so that shows it's been worn. But that uh, chain has got wobble syndrome, so that has had it. There's the back plate, all nice and clean. So, as I just was you possibly used for racing, I don't know because they do have a nine. 1000 cc old little racing cars, don't they? So, whether this engine was used for that is another matter. So, it could be interesting on parts. I do have some old big ends that are in good order, but I won't put them in, but I could use them as a pattern just to see how they fit. But that looks to me. 
The old girl's had a bit of a caning. The rods look alright. Standard enough, nothing special about them. Small ends don't look too bad. It's a very clean engine apart from that. Whether that's age, I don't know. I really don't, but the sump itself looks quite clean. It's just that little bit of dump on the bottom there. Not like so if I'd run it, it would have sucked it straight up through the engine. So it could be where it's sitting, but I don't know. You can see it hasn't run for a while because the engine's so clean. But we shall get the crank out and all the pistons and everything. Oh, there's one thing I must do in Markham. We'll have to do that before we get them out. I think when this was rebuilt, oh, they are marked. You can just see it. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little mark. Number two, number two, there. And that's got number three on it. And three on the conrod. Very important to get that right because if they've been machined to the size, see there's nothing there. But around the other side of the piston there's numbers. So you have to make sure you get those numbers lined up. And check that all the big ends are the same size. So I'll have to try and use my fancy tool that I'm not very good at using. <laughs> Maths, I should have done it. But I haven't got a digital one, so I'll use the old-fashioned one. And hope I can see the marks. If not, I'll have to get a, a new measuring stick, measuring tool. But the barrels and pistons look really nice. And clean and tidy. They're not bad. They look pretty good. So I might get away with a new set of wings. With the pistons. The big ends are gone, so it's been revved. So whether the person I bought it off lied, I don't know. But tomorrow night we'll find out why it's like that. You can see all my chisels there. Top quality chisels there. <laughs> As you can see, that red one's had a real pasting. But this is a poor man's way of stripping an engine. On an old table that we used to eat, sit out in the sun with. And the actual hole is covered up because I've spilled so much oil. It's, anyway, look, that's where the flag goes. Or the umbrella. Now it's my workbench. So, a little bit of panic about that rust in there, but not to, not to worry. It didn't get in the engine. But now I've taken it apart, it's going to take me ages to put it, clean that up and rebuild it and check all the oil ways are clear. And oh, massive job. But, it'll be worth it, because when I got in there now, it's got crank rattle and big M rattle and this rattle and the pistons are slopping about a bit and, yeah, cloud of smoke behind me. So that definitely needs a rebuild. I might actually do that one and uh, sell it on to pay for this one. We shall see. <laughs> Yeah. I hope this phone is doing a decent job. Anyway, I've rapid it on too much. But uh, that's what a Morris engine looks like at the front end. You can see here there's a few scratches on that. That's where the camshaft goes in, there's a few scratches on that. So I'm going to have to replace them. A few marks. You can see where they're all over those. They're not really in there properly. So, I'll probably replace them. But the, uh, it's 
very clean. That's where the uh, push rods go, and where the cam followers go in there. I might just replace them. I think it's fifteen pound or sixteen pound for new, new. Uh, oh, what they call them? I forget now. Uh, 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 push rods and the cam followers, which fit in that holes there. There's nothing in there at the moment, so I'll take them out. I think it's about fifteen quid a set, so I might do that. Might be a good idea. Anyway, I'll leave it at that because it's getting boring now, isn't it? Uh, I haven't tried to unseize that tap yet. I might try, but most of the time you've got no open bob open for getting them free. But I might give it a go. I'll get the tap out, but it's getting them free. Oh boy, oh boy. I might. It's not leaking, see, because sometimes you piddle about with them and get them all working tidy. And you can get into a, a bit of bother with some more of that gunge. <laughs> anyway, 1990, because it's dark out. Even the flowers want to go to bed. I'm going in to finish my uh, little bit of jungle juice. I need this to keep me going. Especially with the mess i got here to clean up. Oh, I don't know what to do, but there we are. One has his problems. And let's hope we can beat life into it. Or it will need a rebuild. We'll have to wait and see. What do I have to... Uh, what I mean by rebuild is... Um, planing and all sorts. Boring it out and things. I could bore it out 1100, but we'll see anyway. Alright then, well, night night. Talk to you soon. Bye.